So let's uh, talk about these things called exterior angles of triangles. So if I'm given a triangle and I extend one side of the triangle in one direction, I create this angle here, which is called an exterior angle. It is outside of the triangle. Okay, so just to throw some more, vo more vocabulary in there. Interior angles are the angles inside of a triangle. So angles one, two, and three are interior angles. Okay, angle four is the exterior angle that I just drew. Now, these angles one, two, and three in relation to four have a special name, okay? So relative to angle four, the adjacent interior angle is angle one. It's the one that forms a linear pair with the exterior angle, okay? And then angles two and three, which are the other two angles, are called remote interior angles. And each vertex of a triangle has two exterior angles, okay? One of the angles, so I'm looking at this uh, angle here, which is going to be the, remember, the adjacent interior angle, and I extend this side length out, this creates exterior angle one. If I extend this side length out here, it creates exterior angle two. And I know that these two angles have to be congruent because they're vertical angles. Well, um, we can actually prove some things about the measures of these angles. Um, first off, from our triangle sum conjecture, I know that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 has to equal 180 degrees, right? And then I also know that angle 3 and angle 4 are linear pairs. Right, And by the linear pair conjecture, I know that the measure of angle 3 uh, plus the measure whoopsie, of angle 4 has to be 180, um, because technically the linear pair conjecture says that 3 and 4 are supplementary. Um, and that means that they have to add up to 180 degrees. And so I have these two sums of angles that both add up to 180. So then I can create um, this little equation, measure of angle one plus measure of angle two plus measure of angle three has to equal measure of angle three plus measure of angle four by a simple substitution from algebra one. And then, oh look, measure of angle three appears on both sides of the equation. I can use my trusty subtraction property of equality and get rid of those. And so then I know the measure of angle one, eh, measure of angle one, plus the measure of angle two has to equal the measure of angle four. And if I look back at my, my picture, angle four is the exterior angle, and one and two are the remote interior angles. So that means this exterior angle here, its measure is equal to the sum of the remote uh, interior angles. And that's gonna be conjecture 23. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles.